Oh. So, so, okay, so when was, okay, so I told you my first job was, like, when I was 12 or 13. Uh-huh. When when was, what what age was your Technically, first my job? first job was the one I had at Mesquite Water, um, and I was in okay. high school. And so it was, well, it was my freshman year to high school. So, so it was either 14, what, like 14, 14 or 15. Yeah. Okay. I think I turned 15 that year. Okay. So it was 14. My first job job at, like, a business was Sonic. Yeah. I worked at Sonic with Colin. I was a cook yeah, there. I worked at um, Sonic as well. That was one of the worst jobs ever because I never had any money because they, they would let you charge food to your paycheck. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I remember that. Yes, they would, they would let you, oh, you could just, you don't have to pay. We can just take it out of your paycheck. Yeah. And then you like lose track of how much food you're ordering. You forget how it adds up, man. Exactly, And yeah. then you're getting a paycheck for like 40 hours, getting like a $100, $150 paycheck sometimes. This yeah, is back when minimum the, wage was like six fifteen, dude. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm like, what? They tax it, and then the, all the food comes out. Actually, I made, because I was a car hop mm-hmm. at Sonic, and I actually, I made really good money as a car I can hop. see what the car hops did. That's the way to go in any yeah. place where you're going to be in a food industry is to serve. Because even yeah. though like you get paid Cause, less cause like, actually, hourly. Well, actually, um, I guess at Sonic at the time, they didn't consider a car hop as a server. Like, I didn't get paid the, like, 2 15 or something, like a, a server at a restaurant. Uh, that's how it was paid. at Pizza Hut, remember? Yeah. They would pay you minimum wage and a dollar a delivery, and you would get tipped. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, do remember that. Because yeah, they didn't count it, it as being a server. Exactly. That was the way to go, dude. Yeah, yeah. I, it, it, Sonic and, and being a... Delivery driver yeah. at Pizza Hut was was uh, my most like banking. If I grow old and I retire, and but I still want to work a little bit, I think I'd be a Pizza Hut driver. Yeah, because I think it's like decent money. <laughs> you get to spend time on the drive places, listening to music, podcasts, whatever you're into, yeah. and you get good tips for it. Yeah, and yeah, when, you don't have to work forty. Like you can work a twenty five or a thirty yeah. as a Pizza Hut driver. Because uh, like I said, when I when I worked at Sonic, like I would get the minimum wage paycheck, mm-hmm. uh, and then I would get. To keep my tips um and like i i would all the change that i would get mm-hmm. i would save up throughout the week and then i would go go uh i would take it to coinstar and like cash in all my change mm-hmm. and just like get just a bunch of change. alcohol yeah <laughs> i mean i was in high school at the time so i couldn't buy it all right legally, I- but um i uh yeah, just just the change in itself from being a car hop like throughout the week, like sometimes I'd have like between a hundred and a hundred and fifty dollars just in change. Really? Yeah. So, being being a car hop, like I made quite a bit of money. I feel like that wouldn't be the same case now because it's less yeah. and less people play with cash and change. Yeah. They say yeah, you that. should, right? If you're tipping, you should still attempt to use cash because then they don't claim taxes and stuff. Yeah, well, so like how how they did it at like, and it was also the same at, at Pizza Hut. Like at the end of your shift, like the managers would ask you how much in tips did you make. Yeah, like we never told them the real amount. Like honestly, I'd probably tell them I made twenty bucks. Yeah, like throughout the whole shift, and when I actually made like forty or fifty. Um, gotcha. But uh, yeah, it it it's it's always better to to. If you're gonna tip somebody to pay them in cash, Colin <coughs> used to do this thing. I feel like I'm gonna put him on blast for a little bit for this, <laughs> but he used to do this thing. It's so long ago. We're talking 11, 12 years ago. I don't know how long ago it was. I thought you were saying like eleven or twelve days ago. Yes, <laughs> but Colin used to do this thing where he would he would charge a customer. There would like be a discount, right? Yeah. Um. On pizza, let's say it's pizza. Uh-huh. There'd be a discount, but he wouldn't tell the customer about the discount. Uh, so he would get the total amount and tell them that amount. Oh, yeah. it comes out to forty two dollars, and then they would go, okay. He would hang up the phone on the order. Yeah. He would, without submitting it, you could print that ticket. Yeah. And then he would add the discount, which would drop to like twenty eight dollars. Yeah. He'd print that ticket. But you know you ask, hey, you're gonna pay with card or cash? They they said mm-hmm. cash. And he's like, yeah. All right, cool. And then he would take with them the ticket that said the forty dollars. Yeah. They would give him the money and when he'd come back, he'd turn in the twenty eight dollar ticket and pocket, pocket the twelve the, the plus the money plus, plus whatever the they tipped him. Yeah. yeah, dude. And he would make some good money like oh, that. Wow. And I'll 
Hopefully they don't go back and arrest him for it. <laughs> His last name is Porzingis. Uh, Porzingis. Colin, Colin Porzingis. Porzingis. Wow. Look him up. It's uh, Chris Stapp's brother. 